to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. It was my birthday recently and I got quite a few arty bookish themed gifts so I thought I'd share what I got with you all because obviously <laughs> you follow me probably because of my book paintings. Keep watching if you wanted to see what I got for my birthday and what else I've picked up over the last few weeks. By the way, if you're wondering what my t-shirt says, it says women are fundamental because I think it chops it off after women are women. Women are. I thought I'd mention that in case it was annoying. Sorry if you can hear nibbling. My dog's just in the bed here and she has this weird habit of just nibbling away on her bedding. I think it's really funny, but it's pretty weird at the same time. Anyway, so. <laughs> this is one of the gifts that I requested for my birthday. Has anybody seen the Beatrix Potter film with Renee Zellweger in it? I hadn't seen it until recently and I just thought it was such a cute film. So I developed a bit of a Beatrix Potter addiction for a while. So I asked for this book for my birthday. It's got loads of art in there, but it's also got pictures of her, like here walking through her garden. But it's got things like what sort of paints she used from Derwent and like the places that inspired her drawings. And just like little notes here of like sketches and ideas for her box and then all of the kind of plants and things that she had in her garden when she moved to the countryside. And I just think it would be a really good book to like reference because I love like country gardens. Um, and I just think it was really cute. So had to get that. Love looking through books like this. Put the done on that side. Next, these two, they weren't a gift. We just bought them in a charity shop. And my mum spotted these and they're two little vintage Alice in Wonderland or Alice Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. But how cute are they? Look at the little illustrations. And then inside they've got like really nice like prints on their inside covers and there's illustrations throughout. It's just a really cute like kids book from the 80s or well, I say retro, that's not that old, but it's kind of old. It's just really cute. So Obviously, I'll be painting those at some point. So the next thing I bought was this Monet kind of history book. So it's got all information about his history. It's got loads of examples of his really famous artwork and then quite a few that I've not really seen anything about before. This was three pounds. It was from a really cool bookshop in Kenilworth. It's called the Treehouse Bookshop, I think. There's literally books towering up to the ceiling. If you're looking for something specific, you're probably not going to find it, but I found this. And it was great. Yeah, so I'll show you a bit of artwork that I've... You're probably going to comment on this and be like, that's really famous, but how cute and pretty is that? Oh, it smells so booky. <laughs> and it's got like all of the really famous ones, like with the bridge and the water lilies, obviously. There's loads of other really nice ones. And it's got loads of information about like his history and where he lived. Um, I was googling a bit about Monet. I've studied art and we did a bit about Monet artwork and impressionist that sort of thing but we didn't really look into anything specifically so I was just wondering like when, <laughs> when he was born, when he died, that sort of thing and I was googling and then it popped up you know on the little suggestions underneath and it said as if it was like other people have searched this was Monet a nice person? And then I clicked on it and then underneath it was like, no, Monet was not a nice person. He had a terrible temper. <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. But he did nice painting, so we'll forgive him. We'll let him off. Grumpy Monet. These are more gifts that other people got me. My cousin bought me this really cute box to put everything in. Not for this video, just to put my presents in. It was so cute. So... First, we have this little contraption. It's like a mini iron, and I'm pretty sure you can use it to like foil, I don't know why I'm doing this motion, you can foil your books with it, like the book edges. Um, and I've been wanting to do that for such a long time, but I just have no idea how to do it. But I'm sure I've seen people using these for that purpose. But also, it will be quite handy for sewing and doing things like that. And I'm really excited. There'll be some foiling going on soon. <laughs> I don't know if there'll be a tutorial because I think it's actually really quite hard to do. But I'm going to give it a go. I'm really excited about it. That's that one. 
oh these were a little present to myself but these are from has anybody heard of so stream green oh, i'd never heard of it until a few months ago i went to one in leamington and i couldn't stop thinking about it and then one opened in coventry which is where i live and i was like oh my god and I, I was counting down the days for it to open it actually opened on my boyfriend's birthday and i was like is it too much to ask him if he wants to visit So Stream Green for his birthday? Obviously, I didn't make him it. it opened on a Friday and I was at work anyway, but still. Cute little paint. Look at the little colours in there. I just thought they're so cute. Such nice colours that I don't have to mix. I can just put my water in, get going. And I just thought the little tins were really sweet as well. They were £3.38. And I bought some other paints from there as well, but they're in the cupboard. So that's those. This one, ooh, it's got addresses on there. Don't be showing those. It's from the Green Stamp Company. I asked for this for my birthday of my boyfriend and this will be a really good gift for other bookish people. I'll link it in the description below because if there's anybody that has a lot of books and likes special bookish gifts, I think this would be such a nice present for anyone like that. It's packaged really nicely. It's all kind of recyclable packaging. I might do a little testing, like insert a little testing video of this. I've got a little, it's a book stamp, so I can stamp all of my books and it will say from the library of Chloe Robin. And I just thought, what a sweet touch. And it's got, I don't know if you'll be able to see it really, I'll, sh I'll show you in another clip, but it's got flowers blooming out of a book. And I love books and I love flowers, so can't go wrong. Next, this, not book themed or art themed, but I got this perfume and it's Bear by Victoria's Secrets and it smells so good. Like it smells clean and just like, I feel like the it girl kind of perfume. It smells so, so nice. You can get it in Next as well as Victoria's Secret and the Next by me had it for ages and I just used to like go in and have a little spritz. And then at some point, obviously, other people liked it too, and it ran out, and they just haven't replaced it. So I've got my own now. <laughs> it smells so good, so definitely get mm, get some of this. It will smell like me. Next, this was from my boyfriend's mom. They're more paints. They're so small and so cute. She actually thought, oh my god, if I ordered the wrong thing, because they're so small. <laughs> So I had to explain it's, it's okay. I, I, I was expecting them to be that small and I promise they'll be beautiful. Um, these were off a, a shop from Etsy, Lizzie's Studio Watercolours, and all the packaging's recyclable. It's like a little mince tin. <laughs> there you go. Oh my God, they're so pretty. I just want to eat them. Look. I oh know. And some of them like they look quite similar there's another blue one here that looks quite similar to that but when you put it on paper they've got like different shifts to them so that one's this one that i just showed you a minute ago has got more of like a greeny pearlescent sort of look and this one i think has got more of like a purple hue when the light shifts on it this one mm, looks so good <laughs> they just look like sweets and then she put in oh, a little test just like a sample of one of her other ones in there so can't wait to try those as well and I do have two other small ones they're more of this sort of like chameleon sort of paint I have tested them on book edges and they do kind of work you know whenever I'm doing like magic like Harry Potter themed ones they're gonna look so cool And then these bits were from my cousin, so oh, I'll show you this bit first. They came with little cute envelopes, just as like an added gift. I asked for a wax seal kit because I thought if I do any commissions or gifts or just any special like cards, invitations, how cute will it be to have a nice wax seal on it? And it's also kind of like Harry Potter, isn't it? Oh. Got that proper cardboard box smell. <laughs> Another envelope. This is kind of like a starry kind of themed one. Ugh. And it's got 
got like a mountain, the moon, starry sky over the top. And these really nice, like these are so pretty. What are they called? <laughs> yeah, it's got some, like navy wax pellets. <laughs> um, and then the little spoon to pour the wax. So I'm really excited about those. And I think, yeah, you can unscrew these and get interchangeable ones. So if I use it a reasonable amount, then I think I might get a couple of different ones to stick on, because you can get loads of different themed ones. She got me these metallic uh, acrylic paints. So when people do the wax seal stamp, the design can be highlighted if you paint a little bit of acrylic, kind of bronzy, gold, that sort of thing. We can do whatever colour you want, but I think it looks really effective when it's that kind of gold metal sort of look. It's got silver as well, bronze and copper. So those ones I think are probably the most effective. Can't wait to have a go at those. So that's my little haul for my birthday. I had a lovely birthday. I spent it, do you know what? I went to Oxford. Traffic there was horrendous, but overall I had a nice day. And I came back and I had pizza. And that was it. And it was beautiful. I had a lovely day. So thanks for watching my birthday haul and all my presents. I feel so grateful this year. I was so happy. I did get other things, but these were the main kind of bookish elements that I wanted to include. I'm going to do like a little bit of a weird vlog transition, I think, now, because I did a couple of birthday themed things and I just think I'll put them all into one video for you to enjoy. I'll do some clips of the botanical gardens because they were amazing, especially like there's so many cool plants in the greenhouse part there's like five massive greenhouses and they all have like a corridor it is like being in herbology and there's like um there's some where they've got like um dry ice sort of things like misting around these plants and they've got all the carnivorous plants that eat flies but like not just venus fly traps like loads of really cool ones and they had a massive pond with like really cool water lilies and the fish in there and stuff. Next, I had this really weird idea. I, I fully understand it's quite weird, but I had this idea to make a birthday cake, basically just make a cake visually, but out of suet and seeds for the birds. And I thought it'd be really fun, but it turns out the birds didn't get to eat it, but you'll, you'll find out why. I'll put a little clip in at the end. Anyway, I'll stop rambling because I don't know what I've talked about for the last 10 minutes. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. It will probably be a painting video next time of my next forage painting. So yeah, hope you join in. Thank you. Bye.